I am the Chevalier Deon, master swordsman, diplomat, and sometimes spy. Do not be confused by my attire. I simply prefer to clothe myself in female garb. It is a little confusing. You are an assassin. I'm hoping you can help me, but first, I'd like to ensure that you're the man for the job. There are several swordsmen who will test your acumen. Challenge each of them and draw first blood. And watch, you don't step on my dress. Of course, my friend, a duel it is. I'll serve as a second to both of you. Bloody revolutionary bastards! <laughs> A hit! Well fought! You are the victor! We have a champion! <laughs> oh my! A duelist, are we? How amusing! This man will judge the hits. I have an appointment presently, but this shan't take much time. Enough! Leave me alone! Come back, coward! He who draws first blood wins. I could use a bit of practice. You can't stop us. A hit. The challenger wins. I will not yield. Cease. The fight is over. Rubbish. To the death. I accept your challenge, upstart. A duel it is. I shall be your second, Alphonse. I'll adjudicate. I was first in my class at the School of Gentlemen Cadets. Indeed he was, and well deserved. Your kind... <laughs> Bust! Take that! <laughs> I shall never yield! This is <laughs> you can't defeat Alphonse! Faites un peu attention. À quoi rime cette oh. S'il continue, il va se rompre le cou. Oh. Oh. 
Surprised? As a final test, you must match yourself against the best. I'll adjudicate. I am one of Europe's greatest swordsmen. Or swordswomen, for that matter. <laughs> Bravo! You have bested the best. You need bend your knee to no one, man or woman. Mon cher ami, have you heard of the Crimson Rose? He goes by the name of Sir Reginald and pretends to be a bit of a twit. But he's quite brilliant at helping people escape the guilty. I am suspicious of him. I'd like you to integrate yourself by saving him from an ambush. What ambush? The one that's about to take place at his home, the Hotel Fiope. Save him, and in gratitude, he may well admit you to his secret league. <laughs> Cheer, my friend. I believe the Crimson Rose himself. One must enjoy these barbers while one can. Are you here to meet Mr. Reggie? He could want to join the Crimson League, yeah? He could be any one of us. Everything all right, my friend. The Crimson League. I may be a member. I'm not about to say. An ambush? I cannot be apprehended just as my plans are coming together. You, sir, if you help me hold them off, you shall have my gratitude. <laughs> After him, men! Kill the Crimson Rose! How are you, friends? Oh, <laughs> 
What's all the fuss? Well done. You seem the sort of fellow I could use in my organization. I shall call on you in the future. I need a bit of assistance. The Comte de Choisy is to be arrested today. He's an honorable man, certainly not deserving of the guillotine. The Crimson League and I are busy elsewhere. Could you prevent his arrest? He lives on the Rue des Bars, just south of Saint-Gervais Church. Please, man. Some good stuff here. Where's his wife? Too late. Damn. I'll see what I can find. that I won't come out they've taken him my husband carried him away past the church they spoke of the guillotine Someone's killed David. About time someone freed me. Good God!
The man you rescued, the Count de Choisy, is a Templar. All the nobles saved by the Crimson Rose are Templars. I've learned that the Count is about to be spirited out of Paris on a barge. It's docked near the Hotel Ville Bay. See that the Count doesn't get away. Then assassinate the Crimson Rose. Oh, I suppose, but that sort of thing 